Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and thank you for coming to my channel. My channel is about affiliate marketing mastery where you can learn to earn a passive income uh, guilt free. And today we're going to learn how to clone a funnel step in ClickFunnels. And what happens if we want to clone that step and then use it in a different funnel? And that's where it gets a little bit trickier. But let me show you how to clone a, a step first. Uh, just as a reminder, um, you just open up the page right here that you want to clone. Let's say I want to clone the squeeze page. This is all a demo account, by the way. And I just want to clone it because I'm going to go in and make a whole bunch of changes. I'm not really sure if I'm going to like them. So when I clone it, I can go back to the original. So that's one reason you might want to clone. So all you do is go to the page that you're, before you go in to edit it, go over here to the, all the way to the right, and it says clone funnel step. All right, and it's going to clone it. Takes a minute there. Now you've cloned it, but now you need to add it to the funnel. And see right here, there's another little tab add to the funnel, and it's going to just pop right up in that funnel at the bottom. So, see right after the thank you page at the very end, you have a squeeze page again. So, you have one at the beginning one at the end. And like I said, a lot of times we want to save it because we're making a lot of changes and we might want to go back to the original. If you don't need to go back, you finish your funnel, you don't need it anymore, you can just go right over here and select the X and that just deletes it. Okay. Now what happens if I want to take this template and use it in another funnel? Um, let's say I did do a lot of work. I did do a lot of changes. I like my design. I like what I've done and I want to keep it. So now what you're going to do is edit the page, open it up. And you do have a save button over to the right, but that's not where we're going. We're going over here under settings on the left and go down to general. Okay. And look down here. It says save this page as a template. So we're going to select that and let's give it a name. Saved template for video. Just make sure we find the right one. And we uh, hit the tab that says create template. So now we've saved it. Now I'm going to go into a different account and I want to find out and I want to use it in that other account. Okay. So I'm going to go, I actually saved another page here into click funnels and I'm going to go into, let's go here where it says demo landing page. It's a completely different funnel. Let's pull this up so you can see everything. Now I want that, I want to bring that, um, my goodness, are there, okay. I want to bring that template into this funnel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom where it says add new step. Now because that funnel was a, an opt-in page, I have to bring an opt-in page back in. I'm just going to call it squeeze page two. Okay. And then I'm going to say, yes, show it in the funnel. And I'm going to let the system create the path, create funnel step. So if you copy an order page, you have to copy it and bring it back in as an order page. You can't like, um, change the type of funnel step that it is. Now you're in here and it says, um, you're going to show your own templates. You don't need to. It's already here. These are a bunch of templates that were saved by ClickFunnels. Yours will go right in there. And you can see the name. It says Save Template for Video. See that? Well, now I'm going to select that template. And now I have this template in my new funnel. And I can move it up to the top, get rid of the other opt-in page, and use the one that I've created. So if you have a certain design or a certain style, a certain brand that you like to use, you can save that template and use it in all of your funnels. All right, and that's how you do it. Hopefully this was helpful. You might need to go back through and watch it again, but easy to do, and it's really nice because you don't have to redo the work. One of the things I love about saving templates is because at the bottom where you do all that footer work, 
paperwork where you have to put your privacy statement and earning disclaimer and all that stuff in, it will be there and you don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. So that's one thing I love about that. I know you can bring the footer in, but for me, I find this a lot easier and I notice I tend to use the same, uh, a similar format. All right, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching today. Um, you can always check out an, an account with ClickFunnels. They have a 14 day free trial and I'll put that link below for you if you wanna go in and uh, play around. If you saw something here that you thought was pretty cool and awesome, just go ahead and click that and you can check it out for yourself.